You see, you need to have some word in you when you go up against the enemy. Come on. Don't try to go up against him in your own strength. Bless the Lord. Because he'll whip the clothes right off your back. Amen. I'm reminded of the seven sons of Sceva who... That's right, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Who thought that they could cast out devils. Yes. And they went into and they, and they came to this man and said, uh, in the name of Jesus who Paul preached. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> See, you better know the Lord for yourself. yourself. Amen. Don't go in there and holler in the name of the Jesus that Minister Mars preach. <laughs> Come on now. Don't go in there saying in the name of Jesus, uh, 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 the one that Reverend McCoy preached, but you better know the name of Jesus for yourself when you go up against the enemy. All right, thank you. Yes. Hallelujah. Because that old slew foot, he'll talk to you. He'll tell you, hey, Paul, I know. All right. Uh, Jesus, I know. Minister Marks, I know. Rob yeah. McCoy, I know. But who in the heck are you? Wow. Well, <laughs> who's you? Who's you? <laughs> who you think you are coming in here and trying to exercise your muscles against me and you don't even have on the armor of God? You better put on the whole armor. Come on, preach. That you be able to stand against the walls of the enemy. Some of us don't have enough power and uh, to knock a flea off a dog. Come on now. Preach. Preach. Some of us don't have enough power when we when we see a mouse run across the floor. Jesus. <laughs> Bless the Lord. And you talking about casting out some devils. You better get over the fear of that mouse first. Bless the Lord. Yeah. Preach, preach. The weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. That's right. Now, some of God's people have got some stronghold on them. Come on. Huh? Come on. Got some stronghold on them. Stress Jesus. Well. is a stronghold of them. Well. Enemy. Come on. Depression is a stronghold of the enemy. Lust. Come on. <laughs> See, you got to know what the devil's working with, and you better know what you're working with. Preach, preach. Huh? These things the enemy come to destroy us with. That's right. Stress. Stress will kill you. Yes. And that's what he wants to do. He wants to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Yes, Lord. Yes. Come on, preacher. And you're running around here. I've been stressed all my life. Well, when are you going to get rid of it? Well, Lord, Come on, man. Preach. Are you going to get rid of the stress, or are you going to let the stress get rid of you? Preach. Huh? Depression. Come on. Lust. Well... Huh? There are so many things that the enemy use to destroy us. Come on, come on. But you see, you got to know some word in order to be able to defeat the enemy. Even fear is an enemy weapon. Come on. But you got to know that God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Preach, preach. Huh? The weapons of our warfare, they're not calling. You can't fight the enemy with a... You, mm. you can go and buy all the guns, the bow and arrows, the slingshots. Mm. But what, if you got a gun, tell me something. Let me tell me something. If you got a gun and the enemy is attacking you, tell me who you're going to shoot. You can't see him. Not with flesh in the huh? You can't see the enemy. So what are you going to shoot that shooter right in the air? Pow, pow. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Preach. <laughs> and don't say, well, I'm going I'm to, hey, the devil's in that person, and I'm going to shoot him out of him. Now you're going to jail, too. <laughs> Amen. 
Amen. The devil might be in him, but you better leave him alone. That's right. You need spiritual weapons. Spiritual weapons. You need the name of Jesus. You need the blood. And you need the word. Those three weapons are most powerful against the enemy. Huh? That's right. They are most powerful against the enemy. He can't stand it when you use the word. Hallelujah. Don't you know that the Bible said that demons tremble? At the name. At the name, at the very name of Jesus, they tremble. They, they, they can't stand it. When you, when, 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 let me tell you something. When you call out the name of Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. See, you might not can see it, but when you use it, it's tearing down the enemy's kingdom. Yes. It's pulling down those strongholds. You might not can see it, but just use it anyhow. Yes. Mm. Jesus. Huh? Just Jesus. say it anyhow. Jesus. Mm. Mm. Huh? When he comes against you, just call on that name. You ever notice sometimes you have you ever been riding down the road and you know you a little sleepy? You've been riding down that road and you happen to run off the road and you're like, Jesus! <laughs> huh? Or you could be going right in the path of a ten wheeler and you holler, Jesus! And he gets you back on the right track. Well, now the devil had his way. Yes, yes. Gone. <laughs> you would go right on to sleep. Huh? Gone. Gone. And be gone away from here. But there's somehow, some way, Jesus has a way of waking you up right on time. Huh? Tell your neighbor, he'll wake you up right on time. Wake you up right on time. Right on time. Huh? See? The Lord have already defeated the devil for us. Yes, he has. But since we are in this world, we still have to contend with him. That's right. Because he's still trying to make us turn around and turn back and stop following God. Because he don't want none of us to make it into the kingdom of God. Because he's already been there and he don't want none of us to go there. But tell your neighbors and neighbor, the devil is alive. The devil is alive. Rebuke you, Satan. See, I don't let depression or stress or none of that kind of stuff get me down. I can walk around with a smile on my face. Even when things are going bad, I can still find something to smile about. All you've got to do is, 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 is just think of those things which are good, honest, pure, and think of something good. Don't be just, see, see, see the reason why you're so stressed and, and depressed is because you're thinking about your problems all the time. All right. Huh? You're just setting up, oh, Lord, I can't pay this bill. Uh, what am I going to do, Lord? What am I going to do? Huh? Don't think about the bill. God will make a way. Yes, he will. Tell your neighbor, God will make a way. Yes, he will. What tell me something? How are you going to make a way by worrying about it? It's not going to get paid by your worrying. Huh? It's not going to get paid by you being all stressed out about it. Don't you know? When you're stressed out about something and and, and, and if that stress happened to take you out of here. That problem that you were stressed out about is still going to be here. You're going to be gone. And, 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 and. Problem is still here. So why stress yourself out about things that you have no control Come on. over? To ask your neighbors and neighbor, why are you stressing over things you got no control over? Why are you stressing over things you got no control over? Why are you stressing? All right. Huh? Let God handle it. And you stand on the word of God. When 
the enemy comes against you like a flood, you just stand on the word of God. You stand on the word, you stand, you use the name of Jesus and the blood. The blood. The blood has not lost its power, y'all. There is still power in the blood. Huh? I don't care what you think about it. There is power in the blood. There is power in the name of Jesus. And there is power in the word of God. Just keep on using it. Stand to your feet. The weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. But they are mighty. Through God. To the pulling down.